this is a video that I know no matter what I say is going to, you know, upset somebody. And that's totally fine. You're free to be upset about whatever you want. Waste the energy on it. That's what I'm doing today with this. Because there was a little article that came out the other day about video game programming and coding. And Nate and I wanted to take a look at it. Now, this article, I will say this, is from a website that makes it pretty clear what their political leanings are. That said, something I am tired of when we talk about these things is when people will look at it and say, well, that piece of news came from this thing, therefore it can't possibly be true because I have different politics or a different belief system than where this came from. But something I've seen with politics, with this site bounding into comics, is if they ever talk about anything, people immediately ignore it if they're not the same political ideology. So I want to say I find that silly, first off. It's when things start to get manipulated and changed that I think it's a problem. But looking through this whole article, it's about inclusive language in programming, documentation, video games, and the Unreal Engine from Epic Games. Yes, there are opinions in here, but the facts, I think, are what's important. The facts are that in the Epic Games requirements for working with Unreal Engine, in the last couple of years, I would say, they've been kind of pushing more and more towards this direction of like needing to be inclusive and not in a way that makes sense in a way that's just forced and kind of ridiculous. So I don't know, Nate, I kind of wanted to get your opinion on this because essentially the way that this is working is that when you're going through these standards and it started with the April 2022 release of the standards for this engine, they essentially were saying that you had to follow their word choice where like you had to name classes, functions, data structures, types, variables, files, all these different things with inclusive language and not using metaphors or similar similes that reinforce stereotypes of any kinds, like contrasting black and white or using terms like blacklist or whitelist. Yeah, I mean, I think before we continue this, I think it's important to point out that facts don't care about your feelings. Oh, thank you, Ben. Yeah, so I just, <laughs> I just wanted to say that first of all, where we're looking at facts. Well, do you get what I'm um, saying, though, about, yeah, like, I, this is from bounding into comics, so, but, like, the same thing if I don't agree with CNN as a, right. as a news source, because I think a lot of things have been unreliable, mm-hmm. in my opinion, from them. That doesn't mean if they post something about, like, literal facts, like they're stating facts. Right. That doesn't mean those facts are lies. Yeah, well, but you see that all the time. Like, how many times does Fox News get ripped apart by liberals? Right. How many times does CNN get ripped apart by conservatives? It's just immediately, and they could post, they could post, you know, like a totally legit, one hundred percent accurate thing, but everyone on the other side is just instantly like wrong. Yeah, because it's from there. And it's just, it's stupid. Well, so, and that's what I'm saying about and, this is, yeah. I know Bounding into Comics has that reputation. I would say with more right. left-leaning people of like, oh, this is very clearly an anti-woke right. website. So everything they say is BS. Like, there's been a ton of stuff on Bounding into Comics I think is dumb. Mm-hmm. I've read a ton of stupid articles from Bounding into Comics. This, though, is listing things that are literal facts of like, you have to, you're supposed yeah. to abide by these things. To use this engine. I mean, the, yeah, there's even quotes in here. There's links, everything. So it's, you know, it is a fact. Right. Like, these are facts. But I think the part of this that's stupid. So basically what it is, is kind of like you said, the un, if you're using Unreal Engine, you have to abide by their terminologies for things. But the part that I find really dumb is it doesn't just apply to, like, if you're, if you're writing a game, it doesn't just apply to, like, the script. Uh-huh. Right? Right. It applies to things that no one will ever see anyways. Unless they're like data mining Unless they're game. data mining the game. Yeah. So I'm like, what is the point of this? You know, first of all, uh, like if someone, if you're coding a game and you use the term like master in the coding, because that is a thing. Master slave code. Yeah. Yep. That it's... is an actual like term. Now that doesn't mean that you're like, you know, I love slavery. It doesn't mean that. It means like, hey, this is just an old coding term. Right. That's and, it. Yeah. And it's it's the same with plumbing, how they have male and female ends. Uh oh. That's just a term. Right. That's all it is. And it's it basically not... is the same with uh, electricity. Yeah. You know, like with uh, with right. adapters. You'll yeah. have male it has the pointy thing, female has the receiver. There you go. Wow. You know? Interesting. Yeah. But, you know, it's just, I don't get why this matters. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I could understand it from a perspective. Now, I find it dumb, but I could understand it from a perspective of, well, we don't want the scripts that you write. Like, mm-hmm. when you're plugging the game in, you're going to turn it on and play it. 
uh, you're reading Master Chief saying something, you know, the script of the game. So you're saying, like, you don't, you would understand if they said they didn't want Master Chief to say, Cortana, tonight you will be my butt slave and I'm right. the master. <laughs> exactly. And instead you want him to say, Cortana, please, you are such a bo boss bitch. <laughs> yeah. I will do whatever you say. Exactly. Like you get yes. their, their reasoning there. Yeah, I get that yeah. reasoning. Yeah. But I don't understand what the point is of coding. It is coding. Right. The only people who are going to see this are developers or people who are data mining the game, which I would argue, why are you doing that anyways? Right. I basically like, just to see if there was cut content or exactly. future updates or something. So and it's like it. no one's going to see this. So who cares? First of all. Second of all, the other part that made me laugh is when they say, well, don't use words that refer to historical trauma or lived experience of discrimination. That could be anything. But how does nuke fall under Because that? Japanese people were nuked. Okay, too bad. Fallout still exists. But, like, and yeah. the, it's, you know. Also, what I mean? the word nuke, it's just a term. Right. Like, we know that nuclear bombs exist. Right. Just because a nuclear bomb exists does not mean everyone's instant. Like, Japanese people went through a, their own Holocaust version. It's like, no, this is not a thing. Right. Like, we, it's just a thing. Oh, it gets worse, Nate. It's just a term. And like, also, the other, but the other thing I want to say, too, is this could be anything. Right. Like, I could have trauma about anything. Mm -hmm. literally anything you could you could tell me hey nathan you kind of look like a water bottle and it's like <laughs> chills in the chills like the comedy hour here it's like you know you you could say anything but to like me. then you flash back to when i shoved that water bottle up your back exactly like, right. all of a sudden like all of your well, well that, that was, was impossible but yeah well but so it, just, it gets to gender though too dude like do not assign a gender to anything that doesn't have one nor use collective nouns like guys that assume gender don't use arbitrary genders like poor man's whatever. Don't you know refer to hypothetical people as they, them, their, even in singular. Like what is this? This feels like it was written by my liberal arts teacher. I think it was. And by the way, I have a liberal arts degree. I one hundred. I one hundred percent think it was. <laughs> I I have know. One of those. <laughs> like I'm just saying, like it feels like some. It feels like this feels to me like the personification of white guilt. Yeah. Like in in a in a now here's the thing. I love Fortnite. Mm -hmm. I will go out on a limb and say I really enjoy Fortnite. There's stuff Epic Games does. I think that the Epic Games launcher for for PC, even though I hate the forced exclusivity that they bought with you know Fortnite money, I like that it pushed Steam to be a better platform with competition. There's stuff Epic's done. I have my own Fortnite code. Help support this channel. You want to use it if you ever get something in Fortnite. There you go. My point is not like hey, Epic Games sucks. My point is, what is this? Because mm -hmm. like this is a company that's historically done pretty good work. I don't understand why you're going so far into this direction. Like, what is the point of this? There's no point to any of this. And like you said, who cares? Who's looking at this? No one is. Developers? Is it really? Here's my question, because you and I have talked about this before. Is it really that the developers are so sensitive that they're the ones upset by it? So therefore, they're doing this code ahead of time to get out of it? Or do they think players are this stupid? Or is it a mixture of the two? I've seen a lot of video game developers who are very clearly unhappy with who they are and mm -hmm. lashing out online that are very upset all the time too. So I'm like, is that who you're trying to protect? You know, like just perpetually defended or offended yeah. video game developers? Because I'd still argue they're not in the majority. No, not at all. Most people are just normal people. And that's 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 why they lash out like this is because they're not in the majority. They're tired of being overlooked in life. They're tired of not getting their way in things. They're tired of not being the center of attention. So they have to make themselves important because they have nothing else going for them in life. Right. Like, look, I'm sorry, but if this stuff offends you, you probably have nothing going for you in life anyways. Right. Like, if you're sitting here being like, they didn't use the their pronoun on this hypothetical person. We're not even talking about misgendering a no, real person. We're not even talking. So, about like, that. if you if you want to get into these com like conversations, I think people get way too hung up on them yes. with with characters. Right. Like the character doesn't know if I misgender Aerith and call her a he. Never do that. Beautiful, wonderful angel mm -hmm. and queen. Right. But if I ever did that, Aerith doesn't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But like, we're not talking about like no. you go into the office, you have a trans coworker. And you're like, I'm going to dead name this person and call this no. person who became a she a he because I hate yep. trans people. We're not talking that's, about that. That's a much we're, different scenario. This is like, <laughs> like a totally different conversation yes. of like workplace etiquette <laughs> yes, and like you're just leaving people alone. We're, we're talking, talking about a video yes. game like in script right or like writing scripts, which yes. is essentially coding mm -hmm. that no one is going to read and making people abide by your your let's just be honest. 
overreaching far left standards of mm-hmm. language. Yep. Which, by the way, I know that I'll lose some people on this. That's fine. If you're an extremist, whatever. Uh, because that's the people that I usually offend. People are like hardcore right. left or right. Because yeah. I'm not. So that makes them mad. Um, and that's why I don't talk about this stuff all the time. But if you are so upset about this and you're on that side, you know, where it's like, you can't use this language. This party that is pushing this used to be the free speech party. Mm -hmm. Used to be like the, you should be able to sexually express yourself. You should be able to express your gender. You should be able to express your religion, even if I disagree with it. And the other party used to be the party that was, you're not a Christian. What the hell is your problem, man? Why don't you own a gun? Right. And like, what happened that these people, what do you mean you people, have become so far up their own ass with this kind of terminology that you have to abide by this or you're not supposed to use their program. Right. Like, it's my, it's literally become my way or the highway. Oh, and don't use profanity. So I'm already out. Right. Because I said ass. So, like, I don't, yeah, like, what is the point? Do you of this? get what I'm saying? No, though? I get exactly. I, what you're saying. I know it's that like, I, I probably made it more political than it already was, but right. I think this is an inherently political discussion. I think it is. That, like, that side has gone so far from, like, well, I don't know. Maybe we should allow gay marriage and not, like, you know, think, you know, go after people for how they talk mm-hmm. to, like, hey, wait a minute. You're misgendering the character right. that isn't real. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't use our program. What happened? When did, when did this happen? It went it it went totally. Do you know backwards. when this happened? Because I, I actually don't. I don't know. I mean, I I've only started to see it in the last like ten years. Yeah, you know, I'm like I'm talking like the end of the Obama administration time period, mm-hmm. like somewhere around that era. I started to see he wasn't like this. No, though. he wasn't at all. I don't know who is getting involved in these companies. That it seems like most of these companies are going this way. Not everyone. There are still some like normal people out there. But there's so many of these companies that are going the direction of like, hey, don't say that. Hey, don't do that. Hey, we can't have that in there. Oh, wait, don't say that term. And it's it's just getting so ridiculous. I'm like, who is hiring these people? I don't know. Why are these people involved in everything? Because I see this in Star Wars all the time. Mm -hmm. I see this in other properties outside of video games. You look at some of the writers or you look at the developers, you know, Star Wars is infamous for this now, minus Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau. Mm -hmm. They're the only normal people left. Everyone else is like some hardcore extremists that doesn't care about the property at all. They only care about their message. Right. That's all. That, that's all. That, that, the property is just a thing. It's a vehicle, it's a vehicle for to, what they want to say. use their message. That's yeah. it. They don't care. And then fans like just dump on them every single day of the week because the writing is trash. Mm-hmm. Because they don't care about the story at all. There's like, I want to I want to talk about how cool women are. It's like, cool, great. That's a great message. That could be a cool story. But guess what? You have to write the story. Yeah, you have to make it good. Exactly. You have to make it good. And I don't get why these people are so involved in all this stuff that... And then they sit there with, like, the the surprise Pikachu face, you know, the When meme. people don't connect when with it. When people don't connect with this. Well, and then it's... it's... like, well, I wonder why. Maybe because you're... Wow. I had a stroke there. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's something like, really bad. I thought that no, I, I thought like the shadow government reset you. No. <laughs> they were like, "This guy's getting too dangerous." I'm blowing through like, the matrix. Like angry. I just, just like, had an actual brain aneurysm. It's like you guys should have seen Nate's head just slumped forward, like he had a like he had a seizure. Well, it's like why? Why are so many people involved in this? You know, I want to throw something I, out here really quick. I know why. You and I have talked about this. It's exactly what you said. You're someone who works in history. You're someone who's not, I would say, extreme on either side, but not a centrist. Right. Now, there are things you agree with on the political party that does this crap. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of things you agree with on the other side. Here's the thing with that. You have seen in history, working in the history, what would you call it? I I wouldn't call it economy, realm of work, field of work, that it is mostly people who don't care about money. Because there's not enough money to be had there. Mm-hmm. And right, so the, yeah. where the people go where the money, like the, the right-leaning people are often taught, go for money. Mm-hmm. You know, like try and build yourself up economically, blah, blah, blah. And uh, unfortunately, that means that you get a lot of more extreme people who go into art instead of also balanced people. And then the extreme people end up in positions of power. Mm-hmm. The more balanced people don't seem to. You know, they don't seem to ever end up in these positions of power, or at least 
when they do, they're the people we don't hear about because they're normal. Right, exactly. You know? So we're hearing about the cases of more extreme people on the other side who went into this because it was their chance to make a mark on the world. Because they didn't care as much about money. They cared about narrative. They cared about, you know, changing a story or sometimes even changing history, mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, because they want things to be the way that they want them. And the other side wants that, too. But they care so much more about money that they don't go into these artistic fields. Right. As often. Yeah, they're going to go into doctors, business, whatever. And I'm not even saying that those people, like, I'd, I'm saying the extreme fringe on that side, too, mm -hmm. I would also equally not like to see in positions of power with this stuff. Like, yeah. I don't I don't want to see, like, a Klansman in a position right, exactly. of power as a video game yeah, developer. Yeah, we, we just don't like extremists. Right, no, I don't think either of us do. Yeah. And this is extreme. Yes. Like, making people abide by your language or don't use our thing. Yeah, and I, I guess I just come back to, what does it matter? Mm -hmm. Like, really, what does this matter? Like like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not even saying, well, we don't want Aerith saying the N-word in a game. Gosh, dang okay, it. It's like that would have been a really interesting moment with her and Barrett. It would have been a twist. Like, I know. <laughs> Barrett's like, wait a minute. <laughs> but it's like, the, you know, that stuff, fine. I can get behind. Right. Like, I get it. Sure, you don't want that in your game. Fair enough. And most people don't but, want to consume that either. Exactly. Like, I don't think even most normal people are like, oh, boy, can't wait for Aerith to say the right. N-word. They're <laughs> just like, like, all right, whatever, I want to play a game. Exactly. Like, we want to play <laughs> a fun weird. game. This weird. Why'd she do that? <laughs> but it's like, we are getting so extreme to the point where... <sighs> you have to say people, they, them. Yeah, you have to say, like, they, them for coding things, for coding purposes. Not a person in your office. Not a person in your office. We're talking about, hey, don't call Darth Maul a he. Yeah. Is Darth Maul going to get offended? <laughs> Darth Maul. Is Darth Maul going to be like in his room, like coddling back and forth because you called him a he? Like, no, Darth Maul doesn't exist. This doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Like, who cares? And I understand, too, that like at the end of the day, someone's going to be in here and they're going to say, well, then why are you bitching about it? It doesn't right. matter. But like our point is, why are you forcing people to abide by these rules? Right. These are arbitrary rules and they're not. I abide by a lot of rules on YouTube, mm -hmm. some of which I don't even agree with. Uh, but for the most part, they're not extreme. Right. They still let you speak mostly the way you want to. And even if you want to say certain words that are like demonetized, you can say them. Mm -hmm. They won't force you off the platform. It's just you won't make money from that video. But like this is like, don't use our thing because you said thing, whatever. Right. That's very different to me. I don't know. I, I This kind of stuff is, I know it's been going on for a while, but when I see it, like, when it is presented to me in my face, it's just kind of disturbing. Because I know that, like, people on the opposite political side of this get, like, an absolute, like, mega boner when they get to reference Orwell and, like, 1984 <laughs> and Brave New World and stuff. But this is very much in that direction of, like, hey, now, wait a minute. What the hell did that guy just say? Right. We got some thought crime going on over here. Well, yeah, and that and that's just what it comes down to. Like, I, I hate people who try to censor language or thought mm -hmm. because because it offends them right it's not even that because it's offensive in and of itself it's because it offends you right like i'm gonna be honest with you just saying hey guys what's up that's not offensive but someone will say guys is yeah ex that's what i'm saying hey by the way there you... are people out there that say well that's offensive we're not all guys you and i and it's like okay it's just a phrase would you say you're a free speech absolutist though like do you think i should be no. able to go into no, an airport and scream no. i have a weapon i think i know within well, reason right. to go off your point jill even mentioned in the background that when she was training to be a waitress they said don't say hey guys yeah it's just stuff like are people really seething at that right no I think there's one person in existence that is, and they think that everyone is. Most people, when I say most, I mean like 75 to 85% of human beings in the world do not care. Right. Like, I, I legitimately have coworkers who are some of the most hardcore liberals that I've ever encountered in my life. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They say, hey guys. Whoa. Like, when, the, when the they're gulag. reviewing... Ref Refuing, when they are referring to people, mm -hmm. they will say, "Hey guys, come this way," and these are like some of those hardcore liberals you could ever think of. Most people don't care about this. I'm coming into your place of work, and I'm going to Arthur clench my fist on right. my side <laughs> know, real hard like, when they refer to me that way. It's like this doesn't matter, and I and it, I just come back to the fact of like who is hiring these people? These people are extreme. These people aren't even just liberals. Mm -hmm. They're so far extremists that 
they're way out of the realm of normal people. And I know I could probably lose my epic partnership for talking about this, which yeah. is unfortunate because, like, you know, oh, you went against the company line. I don't know. That would be very sad and just kind of proving the point right. But, like, I think a lot of people don't want to talk about this stuff because if you do, if you talk about this, people say, oh, you're a, you're a Republican. Mm-hmm. But, like, it doesn't need to be that. No. Like, there's a lot of people who just don't like this stuff that aren't insane. Yeah, I just mentioned some. I literally have coworkers who are liberals. Yeah. They don't they don't get offended by this. Yeah. Don't know why? Because they're normal people. Yeah. They they think clearly. They have opinions that I, I agree with some of them. I disagree with some of them. That's fine. Mm-hmm. That's not the point of the discussion. But they're just normal people. Yeah. They're intelligent. They live their life. They have their political ideologies. They probably That's have a it. reason for why they, they probably believe have a what reason they why they believe what they believe. They yeah. disagree with people on the right, or I have people, I have friends who are on the right who disagree with people on the left. And guess what? No one cares. Right. But the far extreme people care, mm-hmm. and they act as if we all have to care. Well, and here's the thing: we have another video. I'm not sure if it'll be before or after this. I think we we're going to talk a little bit about Yasuke yeah. in uh, Assassin's Creed. Right. And that's a video where I'm sure people will call us liberal Mm -hmm. because we're not super offended by that. Right. Yeah. Because we're not hardcore. I'm just, I'm sick and tired of, and maybe this is a whole different discussion. I'm sick and tired of as soon as someone shares an opinion, you have to be something. You label them. Like you are in this group because you have that opinion. Yeah. And it's like, how about we just have discussions? The only label I want to hear is when people hear Nate's voice and they say, this guy must have a juicy ass. Right. Listen exactly. to that beautiful voice. That's the only labels I want to hear. Right. And I can confirm, I'll tell you what. You can, that's for sure. But you I know what you mean. Like I literally I made a video about Assassin's Creed and it immediately became like, look at this liberal cuck. Right. It's like, and it's like why? one, why is that the only word the right knows? Right. Like when did cuck become like oh for A is for apple, B is for banana, C is for cuck. Right. Like when did this become like the Republican <laughs> alphabet? And right. two, why does it have to become this? Like, I don't want to have discussions like these. Then why'd you make the video? Because I think it's important to talk about this stuff. Yeah. Because a lot of people aren't willing to, and a lot of the people who are, are grifters. Mm-hmm. They're like grifters on the far left or the far right, where it's like, I saw a black person in a game woke! Or like, I saw a white person in a game racist! It's right. like, both of you can go fuck yourselves. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Normal people do not like either of you. You both suck. And that's so sad that we're at that point Mm -hmm. where normal people, most of the people they hear talking about this stuff, they're like, piss off because you're, you're an idiot. Right. And, and a lot of the people are faking their outrage too behind the scenes for stuff. Like you have no idea the amount of YouTubers I've seen or even talked to who don't care as much about the thing they're talking about as they present in the video. I I don't want to say any names, Yeah. but like people will be like, this thing is woke. I'm so angry. And then like they turn it off and they're like, ah, good thousand bucks yeah exactly. and they don't actually care they no. like go on with their day like you don't have, have any idea how many people are like that so when i talk about this it's not because i think i'm the one honest person in the room but it's because it bothers me how much people exaggerate and so when i see something like this on one side that i hate i call it out when i see something like the yazuke thing where i think there's a lot of fake outrage and misdirected anger too i'm gonna call that out and if people don't like that and don't like me because of it then oh well at least i'm me uh, but I'm so tired of this stuff. Like, you have to be this thing. Like, it's so annoying. Like, why can't you just have an opinion? Like, if JFK... I always go back to JFK, because he's, like, my favorite... Yeah, you like him a shrine in your room. Dude, he is like my that. favorite liberal president of all time. Right. If why he was Obama? in the room, guess what? He wouldn't agree with this. No, he wouldn't. He'd say this is dumb. He'd be like, this is very dumb. Why can't, oh, wait, I sound like George Bush. Like, I, I can't do a John F. Kennedy. I sound like George Bush. He'd basically say, this is stupid. Why are we doing this anyway? Where's Marilyn Monroe's ass at? Right, exactly. But like, anyways, you know, he's not like without fault. But a lot of people that, you know, these people lord uh, up would not agree with these things. Well, and I think, I think the problem is a majority of people out there... Eh, don't care about this stuff Mm -hmm. they think it's dumb they think it's stupid but they probably think it's dumb when we talk about it exactly but they have lives Mm -hmm. you know like they go to work they go home to their families are you saying we don't well we also go to work and we have families yeah so i'm saying i don't have a real job but what i'm saying is the people that do this type of stuff they don't have lives they're pathetic so they're the only ones that can you know try to make something of themselves like you gotta refer to words like i would say right but these people are louder than the normal people because the normal people don't get involved in this stuff because they're like doing their they're paying yeah. their taxes and but i think work. i think if every if we took a poll of everyone in the entire world 
I would literally say about 85% of the people said, this is stupid. Yeah, and probably there's like a 5 to 10% that don't care. There's probably less five than... Ten, say what, I bet right? there's less than 5% of people who say this is a great idea. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's... But yet, somehow, we are giving these people power. Mm-hmm. We're giving these people the power of a voice. We're giving these people the power for journalism. And to change your to voice. To involved in politics. They to police, change your voice. That's my problem, is they police companies. your voice. Exactly. Like, these people are allowed to get into these powerful positions... And it's because normal people don't stand up to them. Normal mm-hmm. people don't tell them, that's dumb. You're an idiot. Yeah, why are you talking like that? Anyway, I'm a, I'm a master. You're, you're the slave code. Exactly. They don't you're say right. that. Right. Yeah. Put we them in their to, place. We need to start then, talking like this then, again. Then, then drop nuke. They don't say, I'm about to nuke you, slave, no. with some <laughs> masterful language. In 1945, the Japanese people were nuked. Ah. I just find this so stupid. Mm-hmm. And I'm so sick and tired of this. Yeah. Like, I don't even care what political party people are a part of. Well, and they're going to assume what party you are from this I know. I, I understand that. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I don't even care, like, if you are offended at terms like you know like you want to be called they them or like i'm not getting into anything like that i'm not talking about that part of it yeah you know with anything that i said i don't care to be honest with you well there's i just pe- care about these people getting into these like extremists getting mm-hmm. into positions of power and then telling me or other companies that are going to be making games for me what i can and cannot say or do right when it, especially when it's stuff that doesn't even matter no you know if it was stuff like hey don't commit murder like, I'm not going to be like, hey, wait well, a minute. Now, wait a minute. I'm a rights. Second Amendment absolutist. Now, exactly. hold on here. Why can't I bring my gun to work? <laughs> like, stuff like that, fine. Yeah. But it's stuff like, yeah, don't use the term encoding like nuke. Right. Like, what are we talking about here? What are we doing? Yeah. I, no I, one cares. It's also, to me, hypocritical when then they bring in characters from Fallout to Fortnite. Right. Like, they just brought in Power Armor and Nuka Cola. No, ah! So, so do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So why can't you say those words, but then Epic Games can bring characters from a brand right. about nuclear weapons into their game? Because it's okay when they do it. Oh, also, um, Metal Gear Solid. The entire thing is about nuclear disarmament. Right, yeah. Uh, Hideo Kojima was like, I would argue, borderline obsessive anti-war. Mm-hmm. Like, guys, look how we're dropping. Like, literally to the point where he's putting, like, a, c- a cutscene of real life right. dropping yeah, nuclear in, in waste MGS1. <laughs> in MGS1. Like, the dude was, like, straight up talking about nukes yeah. all the time. You can put his characters in here. Right. I, oh, sorry, Konami's characters. Right. That's fine. I don't know. I just, again, and it's always rules for thee, not for me. Yeah, totally. Too. Like, it's if you do it, like, oh, I accidentally misgendered someone. You're a sexist. Oh, you accidentally misgendered someone. You make the rules. It was a mistake. Mm-hmm. What's the difference here? Right. Like, I, it's always different when someone does it who makes the rules. On both sides, too, though. But I'm very tired of it. I know this was a longer discussion than we were planning to have on this, and we wanted to make some more videos today here before you have to go. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content. Uh, If you don't like our opinions and and hate us because we were trying to be honest, I guess, you know, there's the door, I guess. I I don't like losing people, but, like, I think it's really annoying that I feel like I can't talk about things because people are going to be like, you liberal, you Republican cock, you whatever. It's like, (laughs) why can't you just talk about things that are happening in the world without it being like a, let's label this person thing X. Besides, I'm like an anarchist, like, secretly, so. Right. (laughs) Secretly, I'm a nudist anarchist. It's just I have to fake who I am on camera. (laughs) Anyway, So let us know anything in the comments down below. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. We appreciate you. We do have our own Fortnite code if you want to uh, support the ch- the, co- the company that we're complaining about. But, hey, it supports my channel, too. So, like, if you're going to, you know, what is it, the enemy of my enemy? No, I'm just kidding. I like Epic. That's, that's what... Yeah, I do, too. That's what bums me out is I like the company mm-hmm. for the stuff that they've made. I love their art direction. I love all of the, the games and stuff. Um, I don't like this. And this is something that I'm tired of seeing in, in every industry. So... Let us know. Have a fantastic day. And as always, everyone, uh, stay shway. And finally, oh, one one last thing. Jill's going to make me talk about it. She didn't even nudge me. We have our own store, CosmoBunny.shop, where you can use that same code, DJAY123, for 10% off your first purchase. We will not police your language for the most part on there. Please don't call me a racial slur. That would not be nice. But we're not, <laughs> we're not going to make you, uh, you know, we're not going to make you sign our terms of conduct to send you these wonderful repurposed comic book resin pieces or manga or anything like that. I don't know or care what you're doing in your free time. Don't tell me. But, you know, you can get all these things. We go to comic book, manga stores. We buy 
these things that are damaged, unable to be sold, and we turn them into these great artistic pieces for your home transformatively. And my wife, Jill, also makes wonderful jewelry, hand-beaded over there. So we hope you'll check that out. Have a fantastic day, and stay shui.